WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting in for Tommy O'Brien, and it is the uh, market update. We're looking at the Dow down 381 at 24,372. That makes this week the 24,000s to 23,960 really important support to hold. Closing under that says, hey, we're in for a little bit of a consolidation, which could last into uh, early June. Most importantly, what we're looking at here is in the weekly chart, there's you see this lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m. That says we're just in a trading range. We've been in this trading range for quite a while, but those are the parameters that I'm looking at. And it makes the 24,600 to 24,700 area very strong resistance this week. The S&P is down, also down sharply. It's down 31 at 26.90. In this case, the 27.14 area is strong resistance, and it must hold the 26.72 area. Otherwise, it's, it too is going to go quite a bit lower. The QQQ, which is the NDX 100, this is the one that's trading in a sideways range. It's only down 88 cents. See the rectangle right here? That's very important at 168.85. If it closes above 170.30 any time this week, that's going to be very good action. If it closes below that was made, the low that was made on the 23rd of May, under 166.80, that's just not a good sign. It will start to join the others. Now, what's really important is that gold, which was strong, and then it was, well, not strong. It had a good session early on. Then it was very weak, and now it's up 260. It's holding quite well, but gold at 1306 needs to, I, for my eye, needs to close about 1322, 13. 28 to really say, hey, I have some strength to the upside because if it takes out the 12, it's at 1306. If it takes that 1290 support, that's not good. The dollar, it's all about the dollar. Dollar's been on an absolute tear. It is trading up. It is up sharply. It is trading at this particular point at 95, sorry, 9476. Uh, and that is very good action. It's up 55 cents. What's also very important about this is that it gives it good support between 93. I'd say between 93.65 and 92.70 uh, 92 over the next week. We'll see how the dollar holds because that is very, look at the strength of the weekly chart, the middle chart right here. So the dollar is going to be key. And if you're looking at bonds, bonds are screaming to the upside as yields start to plummet. And that's very important because it's helping the home builders. So this is Basil Chapman sitting here for Tommy O'Brien. Stay tuned for Steve Rhodes coming up. Should be a wonderful show with Steve. And you've got Dave White and Tom O'Brien. And uh, have a great day.